Hey everyone, this is Dr. Foster and this is a, a Maximum Change TV production. I wanted to take a moment to talk to you about an article that I read the other day and it was talking about storing information in your DNA. And they had taken a hundred million or, or a million or so copies of a movie and put it on a strand of DNA and it was held in a little tiny vial of water. And I started thinking about this uh, idea of storing information in DNA. And then I read an article about how we will be able to give our brains an upgrade one day. Now think about the implications of this. Let's put aside the moral ethics side of this and just think about the implications of being able to store information in a tiny, tiny strand of your own DNA. What if we could take all the information in all the libraries in all the world, or for that matter, everything on the internet? Let's say we could take everything that's out there on YouTube and Blab and stick it in a tiny strand of DNA. And then we can upload that information somehow into our brain. Now, obviously, this is futurist. This is futurism. This is... Uh, thinking about the future in a way that we we don't even know how we're going to interact with this material yet. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is the, the sense that they can already put data or information in a strand of DNA is epic. So imagine, if you will, a future where you can go to the doctor or the gen geneticist, if you will, and say, I would like the library, uh, the, the, um, uh, Library of Congress loaded up into my brain. The implications of knowledge is astounding. There are other problems with that. What do we do with individuals that have that much knowledge? Is there a danger in having that much knowledge? Uh, how can it be used for the good? How can it be used, of course, for evil? And we have to play out those things. It's the same conversation we're having with why robotics could be a good thing or a bad thing for the future. So think about it. The next time you are watching a movie, imagine a million copies of that movie in a tiny, tiny drop of water on a tiny, tiny piece of your own DNA. And somehow in the future, we will have a way to upload that into us so that we can use it. Astounding. Well, that's all I have for you right now. Thank you for watching Maximum Change TV. You can check us out online at MaximumChange.com. Follow me on Twitter at Maximum Change. Of course, you can follow me here on Blab, or you can go over to YouTube there and follow me there. We'd love to hear from you. Check us out on uh, Facebook. We're all over the place. Uh, give us a shout. We'd love to hear from you. I hope you have a great day, and thanks for watching.